the, uh, the running of this chat. Uh, she's behind, go, running behind the scenes. Hi, B. Hi. So she's letting everyone. Hi, uh, you're right. Yeah. So, so B's letting everyone into the meeting, and uh, she's also mm. keeping an eye on the chats as well. So if you have any questions, B will pick them up all up, and then she'll relay them onto us because uh, there's a lot going on. So there's a lot for us to take in, and so B will help us on that side of things. Also, at the end of the meeting, B will be doing the draw. So all the people who are within this meeting will be will have their names put into a hat and be drawn out. So you've got a chance actually to win one of these uh, free end performance ray gun kits. So it's not just a gun. Oh, thanks, Way. So uh, you get uh, a large selection of heads, you get some PPS parts, and you get the gun itself. You get a regulator as well, which is a, quite a nice regulator. So um, good luck to everyone at the end. So to be able to win the prize, what you'll have to do is make sure that you're around at the end, because when we draw your, your name out the hat, you've got to be around. So hope everyone's clear on that. So uh, before we continue, uh, I just want to give a massive, massive thanks to 3M. Uh, obviously, without them, this would, wouldn't have happened. And uh, on behalf of myself, Rachel and Wayne, I uh, just want to say thank you for uh, uh, inviting us into this little project. So it's been, it's been a massive pleasure, hasn't it? It's yeah, been really good. good. Yeah, uh, we've had a really good laugh with it, as well as the, the serious side of uh, assessing the gun and we've been talking about it together as well. So, hey Ray, uh, please uh, uh, turn the camera off please. Thank you very much mate. So, um, shall we introduce ourselves? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, so, I, I think ladies should go first. Well, I, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm Rachel. I'm 22. I'm Paint by Rach on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm a full time painter. I don't do um, metal work and stuff. So um, I was really using the gun flat out on things, just purely painting. So. Um, that's kind of my background. Cool. That's fair. Uh, Wayne? <coughs> so I'm Wayne, <coughs> damage undone. Um, I'm sort of across all socials. Uh, I'm actually, I specialize in smart repairs. So everything small to medium area repair techniques. I sometimes encroach on larger stuff, but really I'm all about smart repairs. So I'm sort of hitting it from that aspect. Um, Rachel's 22, I'm 47. So <laughs> we've got, both scales there, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to talking about this gun. Over to you, Sonny. Cheers, thanks, Wayne. Yeah, so my name's Sonnet. I um, a lot of people know me from Facebook on the refinishing crew. So I've been in the industry for 14 years. I first picked up a spray gun 25 years ago. Um, I run my own body shop, and I do everything from uh, MET, which is uh, mechanical electrical trim so I I, I I start from the stripping of the cars right through to the panel beating to the body work uh, to the spray painting so I have a broader spectrum of work which which normally means that uh, uh, I spend less time behind the gun so it's I think we we complement each other quite a bit don't we guys so yeah Rach, Rach is so. in the booth um, <coughs> from uh, when she gets into work uh, until she leaves. Yeah. Uh, Wayne uh, does the repair, carry, you carry out the repairs first and spend most of the day on that and then you spend the end, uh, the, the end of the day uh, carrying out your paint work, don't you? Yeah, and, exactly, uh, and, and a very, I, I, very variety of things. Yeah, and for myself, I, I might not even pick up a spray gun in a week, some, uh, on some weeks, and then some weeks I might be in the booth all, all week. So it's, it's a massive mix for me. So it's, uh, yeah, so we see things from different angles, don't we? Which is, which is great. Um, yeah, really, really pleased with that. So just to put into, pull it, things into context, because our spray painters, it's, it's, a, it's a feel thing, isn't it? Uh, the spray gun. Um, and uh, there's no perfect spray gun for one person and, and one individual. So just try to put things into context for, uh, the people who are watching and listening, 
Uh, I'll start again with Rachel first. What, what's your preferred spray gun normally? So um, I would switch for base coat. I would switch between a 1.3 DV1 and an LS400 1.3. And then for clear, for clear, I solely use a WS400 1.3 HD. Um, and I do spray at higher pressures for clear coat and stuff. So it was, it was strange <laughs> coming off that. Do you spray from quite a distance, right? Yeah, I'm a really slow painter. Right. I I yeah. don't I, I have to like watch everything, like watch the way it goes on and stuff. I just I can't I can't do the whole close up and quick thing. <laughs> yeah. Well that's do you know what? That's that's just a sign of a really good technical painter, I feel. Yeah, it's only uh, it's been really this year I've done it. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Wayne? So I um Primarily because I'm working on small small areas, small repairs. <coughs> I work with the Segola Mini Extreme, one mil. I also will then switch that if it's a large area between the Segola 1.2 or the Welcome 1.2. If if I'm going into a couple of panels, and for my clear, I tend to always reach for the Segola 4600 Extreme on a 1.2 XL nozzle. And those have been the guns that I, I would normally work with. And in for interiors, um, I might I would use probably an LPH80 or one of my Devilbus SRI Pro lights if I'm doing leather interior pads. And mm. and uh, the pressure that I'm working at normally with those guns, I'm working at around sort of two bar, two bar and two and a half fluid turns out, full fan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so for myself. Uh, my preferred base coat gun is the Segola uh, Aqua Setup. So it's a 4600 X3 and um, same as you, Wayne, uh, two yeah. bar on that. And then for, for the clear, uh, I, I go with you. So it's a Segola 4600 Extreme 1.2 XL. Uh, but I, I go, a lot of people go for the um, DVR clear setup, which is quite a, a flat wide fan, uh, flat wide fan uh, i prefer the titanium setup which is squashed in a little bit and a rounder wetter um spray pattern so i'm dvr I'm, yeah oh you're, you're dvr right yeah so I'm, a, I'm probably the opposite of rach so i i need to watch the paint go on more than i should do <laughs> uh, and I, I i kind of like i'm i'm quite renowned for being quite a heavy painter so i like to really push push the spray gun and uh, push the clear onto onto the panel which uh, can leave yeah you know get me into trouble sometimes <laughs> um so I, I thought that was quite interesting actually because we when we got invited to try this uh spray gun out we've got loads of selections of different nozzles uh which means you know we can choose a setup that really suits us if we're not feeling like uh, one particular fluid tip size is working for us um but yeah it's uh but because we're all spray different it, i i felt it was going to be interesting to see how we felt uh about the gun um yeah. talking about feeling about the gun and feeling about things um it was a few weeks ago when preem invited us to uh, join us with this project and test the guns for them and report back to to them how we felt about it. So um, I'm going to start with you, Wayne, this time. Um, how did you feel when 3M approached you? Well, I'm not even actually. Yeah, I do know how it happened. So you know, th there's a bit of a backstory on here. Um, I've been in the business for a long time. I'd never actually heard from 3M, and one of their guys sort of. Uh, had been following me and decided to contact me and then so that's how that happened and then i actually had rach on one of my d chats which is a live instagram chat thing that we do um and we sort of somehow got offered that didn't we rach from 3m yeah. and then and then rach said well how about pulling sunny into it and that made total sense to us because we just we cater for different stuff we all right we cross over but i think the three of us combined should add quite a different concept to this this review and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it or any other future reviews yeah, yeah definitely definitely sort of cover all sort of aspects of the industry rather than just 
like you know production painting or just smart repair or just like a bit of everything to be honest yeah, yeah. and yeah. what i like as well is this is this is really a no holds barred sort of interview uh, chat we you know if we don't like it we're going to say we don't like it so we, there's there's nothing there's no hidden uh, motives behind it and that's we've been clear about that from the start haven't we yeah yeah we it would be very unprofessional of us to pretend it's an amazing spray gun if we felt it wasn't an amazing spray gun and mm. there's just there's no point doing that uh, as far as our careers go because you know we, we lose credibility don't we if we do that so yeah. um so uh, there's a i think there's a few uh 3m guys who are watching here so you know uh we offend you with anything that we say <laughs> Uh, I apologise <laughs> in advance. <laughs> Just clamour. Uh, no, no, but uh, no, it's uh, it's all good. Uh, yeah. So, what about you, Rach? Uh, you know, when when contact you you about this, uh, what what did you think? Yeah, well, I I, I kind of came about through um through LinkedIn. I mean, I've been we you know we ha our three M rep comes around us really regularly, so um. I've all like we've always used 3M products, and um, since I joined the trade, I've been using 3M products. But so whenever I found out that they were doing a spray gun, I obviously love my spray guns, <laughs> and so I, I spent a fortune on yeah. one of the red. But um, I thought because normally like if 3M put their name to something, usually it's good. So I sort of thought you know if they're putting their name to a spray gun, like it's bound you know it's going to have all the development and research and stuff behind it so um i was really excited and then the fact that um both of you were doing it as well then i was like we can definitely just yeah collaborate on it yeah i i you know, I, uh, I it was way who contacted me and asked me whether i wanted to get involved and uh, the gut reaction was yeah definitely want to get involved i mean i'd be a complete idiot to turn down an opportunity like this to work with 3m because we all know, uh, as far as companies go, 3M are an absolute giant in the industry. So it, it was, I would have been an, an idiot to turn down this opportunity. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I definitely wanted to do it. And then uh, when it was, about, uh, when I heard it was about the performance spray guns, the gut reaction was, hmm, I don't know. Really. <laughs> I really don't know. Well, I think uh, in the back of my mind, uh, I, I heard about this performance spray gun and I, 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 I kind of missed the buzz because it, about it because I don't know if it's been going on on Instagram more than Facebook, but I just heard about this performance spray gun and I, I associated it with the old Accu spray spray gun and uh, I, I don't think there was, I think there was a lot of people who didn't like it and I can't, so that was my association, so I think, mm, I thought, I'll enter it with an open mind, and I'd, and also the only thing was, I didn't understand the idea and the concept of why I would want a spray gun with an interchangeable head. And in fact, mm. uh, some yeah. of my friends uh, in the industry contacted me and says, "All right, so you're do, doing this uh, review about the performance spray gun. What's the point of it?" And uh, I said to a couple of guys, "I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what the." Point is. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just going to have to use it and uh, get a feel of it and then see if there are any advantages. Uh, so I had a few things in my mind where it could work and why it would work. But uh, on the whole, I was like, you know, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. And so that's how I felt. And here we are. Yeah. Um, so uh, any question, guys? And B, have there any, been, any questions that have been raised? Um, no questions so far, but um, Joshua has just said, plastic tips is what concerned but intrigued me. So it wasn't really aimed at anyone, but Wayne or Rach, if you've got anything to say about plastic tips. Well, I think we're going to probably talk about that when in a moment. Yes, yeah, so only when we talk about the guns and sort of pros and cons and some calculations that were worked out on them. Yeah. I mean, as, as far as plastic tips, um, for me, I'm, I'm a bit, bit of a magpie, so I, I love shiny stuff, and especially anodized shiny spray guns. And that, uh, well, 
racism sport, <laughs> uh, a shiny red uh, eye water. And uh, yeah, I think, I think us spray painters like shiny stuff and things that are well engineered and you feel like, like you're putting money into something uh, that had a lot of time in it, uh, put into it. And so th the fact that this 3M spray gun has plastic heads, it kind of like, at first it didn't gel with me and I thought, plastic heads, they must be flimsy. So um, uh, shall we talk about features? Uh, about yeah, the well, yeah, I'll just say something. When, when he said plastic tips, Kev, what he was actually talking about was the nozzles on the end. So these are, these are called nozzles. Um, if you undo it, there is actually, hold on a minute. Just, uh, so you've actually got a steel tip uh, is actually what's in there, needle. And then the end bit is called the nozzle. It's not the tip. So there, there can be differences, but that is actually classified as the nozzle, which goes in yeah. and then just locks in place. It's a funny right, gun. It's a, it's, a, it's a really strange gun because it's so lightweight, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, uh, because it is, there's a lot of composites and plastics involved. Um, but it doesn't feel flimsy at all, does it? It feels nice and solid and really well built. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Uh, and I think, you know, go on, Rach. Okay. Uh, well, whenever, whenever I first, whenever I first left it out of the box, like you left the box, and you think, oh my goodness, like this is really heavy, but it's actually just the manual. Um, yeah. But I, I remember I, I took the spray gun. Yeah, yeah, it's it's massive. <laughs> the, the, I think the box must have weighed about four kilos, and then we pulled, then they pulled the spray gun out, and. You, you could barely feel the weight uh, when, when you lift it, can you? It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, it, it, but it just didn't feel real whenever I first left it out. Like, I left it out and I was holding it and I was like, it doesn't, it feels like it's some sort of like, I don't know. Like, it just didn't seem right at the start. I was like, this is too, this is too lightweight because like, we, um, we weighed it against pretty much every other spray gun there is. Um, and it's at least 200 grams lighter than um, even the Walkums. Yeah. I thought they were men mentally light. Yeah, yeah, I got a slim combat, uh, and um, that's the lightest one that I've ever picked up. It's, it's even lighter than the 360s. Um, but picking that up after pick, picking the, the 3M gun, it, it feels heavy. It's, yeah. it's that light, isn't it? And I, actually, I picked up the data the other day and left it at, and I was like, oh my goodness, this is so heavy. Because <laughs> I've been using the list non stop for like, um, for like two weeks now. I didn't want to get tempted. But what I like about this is when you've actually got the gauge on the bottom, it, it actually is really well balanced in your hand. Yeah. Or at least that's what I've found. So I don't, I don't really notice it. I, it just, it almost becomes, and maybe we're starting the review now, sort of 20 minutes in, but it was almost becomes an extension to my, to my body, if that makes yeah. sense. And yeah. you, you noticed that the other day, um, Sunny. you said, oh, you hold your gun the same way. But I didn't even realize how I was holding it, but it just, yeah, it's uh, an extension. I can't think of it as an, you know, and everything I, when I come to paint it, paint with it, I, I'm not even thinking about really how I'm moving. I, I think I said this to you, Rach. Oh, Sonny, sorry, am I jumping, am I jumping? <laughs> yeah. No, no, you carry on, no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, so I said to you, Rach, I said um, how, you know, we, we've covered this, guns, guns suit the people. So you can buy any gun, the Devilbers, Iwata, um, Sagola, Welcome, but it doesn't mean just because Rachel has a fantastic job at the Iwata that I'm going to have a fantastic job and love it as much as she did. But... I found that, and, and you know, I love my Segolas and I like the Welcomes as well, and, and they work well, but I picked this gun up, and, and especially on yesterday's job where on that Mini, the Black Mini, and I, and I was clearing it, and I just found, it, I found it fitted my rhythm. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's just, I can't explain it. I'm not a fast painter, and I'm not a slow painter, so I didn't like the Iwatas when I tested them because they were a bit too slow for me. But this one just kind of it slots in to where I would want it to slot in. Yeah. If that yeah. makes sense. No, yeah. I don't know. 
It's, um, I, I, I found, actually, as, as I mentioned earlier on, that because I'm quite a heavy painter, uh, I mm. decided to try the one four tip um, for clay. Uh, what are you on, Rach? Was it one three? I uh, switched between a one point three and a one point four, depending on the on the car. I find myself right. um, now sort of using a one four on right. the likes of BMWs and Audis, you know, because it yeah. is that heavier pail and it's a lot easier and quicker to get it from a one four. Yeah. I, it, one, I haven't used a 1.4 for a long time, so in the um, Segolas, for example, on, on, on a 1.2 XL, which is probably like 1.2 and, and a half or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, <coughs> so I, I felt a bit weird like, picking up a 1.4, but the 1.4, it, it doesn't feel like a big nozzle, does it? It, it, no. it just doesn't. Um, so I, I found that, so, so the recommendations that were given to us, uh, was, was to wind the fan out two turns out from fully closed. Thank you, Wade. Well demonstrated. Right. And, then, <laughs> and then, the, the, oh, this is great. We're good teamwork, this, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, uh, and then the fluid was wound out four turns out. Uh, and uh, that works for me. And I felt it just a little bit slow. So I ended up trying to wet up the fan a little bit. So I wound the fan in by, by a half turn. And for me, um, I just felt that just fit the bill really nicely. Just, yeah. I did, I did, the, I did the same. Yeah, right. I mean, that's, that is one of the things about this. Uh, you know, one of my comments on here is versatility because I've done it on some sort of intricate sort of motorbike parts, bearings that I've been painting where I've needed to wind the fan in so I can get a, a thinner fan and not so wide, reduce the amount of paint. And so I, you could do that with this. I mean, you can. You can wind it in, you can wind it out. And, and to be able to find that, those sort of sweet spots, as those people say, is not, I've not found that difficult, personally. I found it no. quite simple to use. Um, I've moved up, you, you were talking about your clear sending. I've moved up from, traditionally, I've always been a 1.2 guy for my clear. Uh, I've moved to the 1.3, and I, I really, I think, I've kind of been thinking to myself, I've done something wrong. In fact, actually, I've not done something wrong, but I've been missing something for the years because I actually rang the, my octal rep today and I said to him, have you got some time to talk? He said, oh no, because I, he was on some big worldwide meeting. I said, I really want to talk to you about this gun because I've just made these adjustments and everything is just seems to be flowing so much nicer. So yeah, definitely that was a, uh, some advice that was given to me by Rach to move from the 1.2 to the 1.3 and that was, that was sound for me. Yeah. Base coat, I'm still on the 1.2. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because it's of the HVLP technology. Uh, oh, let's talk about that actually. Um, so we, the gun runs at uh, 1.4 bar, 20 yep. psi. Uh, Which obviously goes against like what Rach and I, and I'm not well, sure what you spray, but so we're at like two bar. I'm yeah, ice well, spray, spray lacquer at two and a half. Do you monitor paint usage, Rach? Yeah. <laughs> Has it, has it made a difference to paint usage? I um, definitely am using a lot less clear, if I'm honest. Right. But because I was spraying at such a high pressure, um, no matter the no matter the transfer efficiency of the spray gun, it doesn't matter because you're spraying at the at the high pressure. It's going to go everywhere but the panel. Yeah, yeah, you've got you must be uh, spraying in the clouds <laughs> most of the day. I don't know. I just uh, it's just what I found worked for the for the yeah. WS 400 for me. I've, you know what? You just gotta do what you, you you just gotta do what works, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, exactly. Twenty psi, one point four bar doesn't feel that bad at all, does it? It's. I uh, think it's it feels... like it sounds like two bar through yeah. the spray gun. You know, it's like it's like spraying through a small spray gun. You know, it sounds a lot higher than what it actually is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have actually tested it at two bar because one of the 3M guys said, well, give it a go and see because some people have said they'd like it. I did it. I didn't like it. I went back to 1.4. It was perfect. Um, yeah. So I, I couldn't, you know, you could probably go up to 1.2. Uh, sorry, 1.6. But I don't think you need to go any higher or any lower. That just worked perfectly for me on, on base and clear. Yeah, yeah the, the, only time, the only time I put my pressure up is when I was getting a Kia today. I knew I had a really, really like, tight oh. pail on them. So for the, first, for the first coat, I put it up to 1.8. Yeah. 
and it kind of mimicked what maybe two and a half would be on something standard. Yeah. Um, I found it was it was super easy to get to be able to put the first coat on, um, the way I wanted it to for to get that to replicate the the manufacturer finish. There's not a lot of overspray either when you do it where uh, at the pressures that you spray at, is yeah. there? So it hence why there is a, a good transfer efficiency there. So um, uh, a, a guy on uh, the finishing crew in Facebook asked asked me to do a video of me using the gun because I haven't done a video of me spraying um, and the only reason why is I don't want to cake the phone with overspray so uh, today I sacrificed it actually and I thought right if he wants a, if he wants a video then I'll do a video uh, so I painted a bonnet uh, a, a door and this black air, um, air diffuser on the front of a truck and uh, you know with the little slots in there on, like yeah. on the corner so I painted one of them so I was cutting in so you, you end up wasting quite a lot of paint cutting in on them don't you and I think I used, I used about 550 on there um between the three panels so for me yeah that, that's quite good as I said I'm a quite heavy painter and uh, I probably would have gone through about 700 uh, you know with most other spray guns yeah, I I find the same. It's the 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 amount of paint I've like I would be I would use a lot of lacquer. I have to admit I'm 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 very heavy with lacquer, but um, I've now gotten I did when I, one of the first jobs I did with the gun was basically a respray bar the roof and two bumpers on a Tiguan, and um, I only use seven hundred ml clear coat. That's amazing. And I was horrified because yeah. normally I would I would mix a, a, a full 650 PPS cup and then I'd probably mix another one to be honest and use pretty much most of it um, <laughs> through my water and um, whenever I finished the first coat I still had like half the 650 mil PPS cup full and I was like <laughs> but there, yeah, was no difference, there was no difference in the actual finish in the in the um, panel I, I end up binning, yeah, same as you, uh, first job, I can't remember what I sprayed, but I end up binning half, half my clay because I didn't need it. Um, yeah, so the transfer efficiency is great. Uh, yeah. just, just, can we just take the conversation back onto the, um, the air cap? Um, yeah. So w one feature of the air cap is, so, so first of all, you kind of think a plastic air cap is going to melt in, the, in gun wash, but I don't know what sort of plastic it is, but it's it's fine. It's really solid, isn't it? Um, yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's not advisable to just leave it soaking in this in the no. solvent. That would destroy it. No. So, um, so one of the features on the the air cap is it's indented, which is uh, so you can just turn it to one click, and it goes to uh, forty five degrees, and then you turn it. Uh, to the next click and yeah straight on to uh, like with a straight fan back this way so I, I actually had to cut in on a that uh, air diffuser for the truck this today so I just turn it 90 degrees flicked in and then flicked it straight back to uh, the normal orientation and I think that's a great idea it's just a little idea isn't it because there's nothing yeah. more frustrating than trying to straighten up your your fan pattern Oh, there's um, It stresses me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I have to, I'm really OCD about that. Yeah, yeah do, you have to make sure well. the, do you have to make sure the words are the right way around as well? Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what was um, it? There was then, a gun I used the other day, and it both the the words were up, like one was upside down, no matter what way you put it, and it really, really angered me internally. <laughs> I think I've I've seen something very similar and it's the same. Why just have it the same way? So much easier. Yeah, exactly. It's much yeah. More usable. Uh, um, the other thing as well, Sonny, if we, if we can, once we're on the caps, so just about cleaning it. If we can, if I can talk yeah. about that as well. Yeah, I don't know how you guys are cleaning it, but I've actually not gone to my gun wash machine since I've been using these, try, trialing it. Um, and I really all I do is if between colours I. I've just got a little cap on here. It's actually just one of the little caps from the pots, but I like to keep it on the top there because it um, stops any dirt or anything going in. And also I've just used the same caps, I, same nozzles. I actually haven't 
had to open up any other nozzles. So we'll come to that shortly, I'm sure. But um, I just rinse this through, really simple. Um, I've got a gun wash in a little pot that I keep in the, in the spray booth. So I have one for my solvent and one for my water base. Um, and I just squirt it through, rinse it out, uh, take off the, the cap, just a little bit stiff here. This is quite new. Um, and then just wipe the needle because you only get a tiny bit on the end there. And yeah. that's pretty much my nozzle cleaned and I can move on to the next color. It's, yeah. it takes, I, I timed it on, on a color chain. So I, I was switching between uh, a water base. Uh, so, sorry, I was, I was doing wet, wet primer through 1.4 and I switched to a water base uh, black and I switched to a solvent base. Uh, so I basically switched between solvent water and solvent, all, all with the same gun. And uh, like the changeover so that took a minute. Uh, so it, including you know fitting the pot, so uh, clean the head out, swap over the, uh, to a new head, and then uh, fit a new uh, PPS pot. And it's uh, it's it's so quick, isn't it, and so convenient because you're not messing around trying to clean the rest of the gun because all you're yeah. cleaning is this bit really um so it's it's so let's talk about the elephant in the room so people's talking about you know what's the point of having these disposable leads it's not good for the environment uh you know why can't we just make one out of uh metal for example so uh which yeah. is one question i've been asked uh, well so to address the obviously i'm not I haven't been in development with the gun but i can I'm, i can imagine if they made a head out of aluminium or you know uh, it wouldn't feel balanced it, it'd be awful wouldn't it because it's it is so well Maybe balanced as it is because the, the head <coughs> the head itself doesn't weigh it weighs hardly anything at yeah. all so yeah it would throw the balance out definitely yeah so i can't imagine uh the that making the head out of metal would be a good option um as far as waste dish goes i think uh, Rach, uh, do you want to sort of like let fill us in on sort of the durability of the spray gun on, on the heads because yeah because someone's just asked that I've just seen that someone just said yeah. you know what about how many the nozzles so so I actually wrote it down so my 1.2 I've cleaned it out 10 times my 1.3 I've cleaned it out 27 times uh, 1.4 oh. 14 times 1.6 7 times and 1.8 one time so um i use the same you're thing. holding the record i use the 1.3 for base and clear and i use the same tip because i would leave my i'd leave my base coat in the booth in the heat for a wee bit before lacquer so i just take the time to to clean the the nozzle out and then i just use it for um for the clear and yeah i haven't had a single issue with it at all that's great there's uh i think i'm running six of things Sorry, Wade. No, I was going to say, I, I'm running probably on my base um, cap, which would be the 1.2. I'm on about 15 uses, maybe a little bit more, a couple more. Um, and on my clear, I'm still on the same cap and I'm on about sort of 10 jobs, something like that, 10, 11 jobs. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm only on about six or seven for the highest one that I've got. Um, but um, so people are banding. The, around the number of six uh, cleans per head, which is, uh, I, think, I think there's a lot of misconceptions that it's the same gun <coughs> as the old 3M AccuSpray spray gun, but it's a completely different spray gun. So the recommended uh, number, the, sorry, the minimum uh, number of cleans they reckon you can get out of each head is 10. For yeah. Rachel's, it's 27. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I can't see them sort of like wearing out that easily, you know, instead uh, with, with with the use that I've put through it. So, but to, to address the question about disposable heads and the environment, so uh, but let's talk about cost. You know, let's 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 get to the nitty gritty. So it's yeah, is it about thirty five pound for um, five heads? Is that correct? Yeah, list price is actually thirty nine. So let's just go for the list price. I mean, depending on your distributor and where you're going to get them, I think some distributors will give up to 35% off, but obviously that depends on the quantity that you're buying from them. You know, if you're a big 
purchase so you you're going to get that's just life you're going to get a better discount yeah. so um do you want me to go through them sonny like the figures yeah let's yeah. go for the figures yeah <coughs> right so i've worked out that if you go on the minimum um so this is including the pps and a cup so we're going on say 10 uses of this nozzle and then you've got to change it over so 10 users you're always going to use a pps cup but i've included it in the price anyway so I, the price that i got for the pps cup was just taken off of um ebay uh, other retailers are available uh, <laughs> so <laughs> just got to check that in there um, and so i've gone for the 200 cup which is this one and that comes out at about £41.62 yeah. plus the VAT. All these figures are plus the VAT. So I've worked out, <coughs> so it works out at 83 pence for the actual cup. And it was um, something like 52 pence for the nozzle, something like that. So the actual price for 10 jobs on here with this would work out at £1.61 per job. Now, if you looked after your nozzles, and you've got them up to the level that I'm currently at, which is about 15. You drop that down to £1.35. So you're, you're sort of saving yourself 30 pence per, per setup. That's nozzle and cup. And then 20 jobs and or exceeding, which is Rachel's on, you're, you're down again to sort of £1.22. So overall, £1.22 per job for the running cost on the nozzle and the cup. I don't think that that's uh, uh, an unworkable figure, really. No, no. And if you can't add one pound onto a job, you know, one pound fifty or whatever, then it's an issue, isn't there? Um, yeah. And but but you know what you've got to say is okay. So that's that you're paying a little bit extra for this, or fifty two pence or something with something really small like that. Um, but how much are you actually saving? And I found because I'm not going to the gun wash machine, I'm not running electricity on it. I am not um, using more cleaning fluids. So everything is is less on those two sides, yeah. and it's. It's cut my time. I mean, I don't know how long it takes you. Rach, you're a bit of a fanatic on cleaning your guns. So it probably takes you a little bit longer. But uh, probably, you know, well, probably more than a minute for it. Well, yeah. no, I, I just, um, <coughs> I have a wee pot of thinners beside that. We have a gun cleaning machine. And um, I literally just kind of like dip the, the nozzle on it and use the, you know, the, I don't know, what, you know, the wee, like, it's like a pipe cleaner. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just use that and then use the um, clean thinners through the uh, gun wash machine for like 10 to 15 seconds per uh, per nozzle, which is nothing compared to what I was using it. I, I, um, can, I, I can definitely imagine that using, even if you put your, your head quickly through the gun wash, which is what how I clean mine, because uh, mine, I can set my, when I flip the lid open, it co comes down as a jet, so I just held it underneath there. Yeah, that, that, that's and, what I do. Yeah, then blast air through it. Yeah. Uh, it takes about 15 seconds, doesn't it? 15, 20 yeah. seconds to clean it out. So uh, time save, which is the biggest commodity in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a body shop anyway. Yeah. Uh, and then you set, you're saving on thinners um, because you're not um, consuming so much. So I think, I think what you, you would pay in the consumables with the gun, uh, you would save uh, quite easily on not using as much thinners. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. No, I definitely. Yeah, yeah. All around and electricity, etc. So yeah, for me, it's it's when. Um, but this is all sounding really sort of uh, positive here. So, do, do you? Do we? Well, there must be some negatives along this somewhere. Um. Oh, so so can we? Before we move on, uh, someone did ask a question about the environmental impacts on about these oh, yeah. uh, grey heads. So. Uh, this is again this is just from my perspective and how i feel about it um i've had to take a pragmatic approach to the body shop industry because i'm no eco warrior but i make you know every effort i can when i'm at home to recycle everything when i come into work because time's money etc etc and because the amount of waste we produce from from masking products especially so it doesn't even it doesn't matter if you use paper it doesn't matter if you use plastic there's massive amounts of waste consumed in our industry and i've had to just accept that basically and it's probably not the best thing in the world 
but it, it's, it's reality, isn't it? Uh, I've had to accept that I'm going to generate a lot of waste from, from what I do. So um, just let's say we work on a bag of these heads, which can do 10 paint jobs as a minimum each. Uh, so you get a bag of five. So that's 50 jobs. So I'm just going to grab five uh, heads. I call them heads. Um, so that's that's fa that's uh, that's five um, spray nozzles or heads, whatever you want to call them, and that's over fifty jobs. So imagine how much uh, fifty jobs worth of um, plastic ma masking uh, looks like. It's I I don't think it's that relevant. It's not right, um, but in the great scheme of things, it's it's not the end of the world. I feel. Yeah. Oh yes, things that. Uh, so going back to yeah. what you asked me. I'm uh, just conscious of time. That's all because I, I just we, oh. we need to. Yeah, because we don't want to keep everyone too yeah, long. Don't want to overrun. Yeah, yeah. I think because otherwise, I, I don't know, know what we're like. We'll be here all all night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, should, we should just carry on after after everyone's gone. <laughs> so, Good idea. Um, I don't know if you guys want to sort of say your pros and cons or or any improvements, and and then we can sort of uh, go from there yeah okay who wants to start i don't um, mind starting I'll, I'll go with mine and then you guys can add it so yeah. pros yeah. for me um fan width versatility which we've covered um and just the sort of the natures from small to larger jobs that i can do uh the speed of the gun because it just suits my way of painting you know and i've just naturally slotted into it which i really like uh, working pressure, I like the fact that we can work at a lower pressure, less overspray within my workshop, but a little bit more controlled. Um, I think I like also the fact that you may not see it in this, but each nozzle is color coded, so you know on the size. Yeah. If you don't want to see it, you can actually just look at the colors green, blue, orange with this one. So that's, that's quite a nice little feature. Um, and then the ease of uh, cleaning it. So there's my that's my pros. I don't know if you want to do yours and then we'll come to cons afterwards or should I do the cons now? Shall we do all the pros? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, can I go? Yeah, go, go. Right. Yeah. So um, as I said, I, I was a little bit skeptical uh, entering into this project and I was happily impressed there about how it felt. So I if, if this was my only spray gun, I would happily use it day in, day out, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. It just, it's just a really nice gun, really, really nice gun. Um, it's really lightweight, so you know when you're painting like a roof or a bonnet, especially when you're short like me, uh, who has to reach quite far, um, it's, it just makes it dead easy. You know, you haven't. The weight of that is 220. 250 grams, and uh, I weighed it against uh, actually, I've got it here, my little LPH heater. It's right. Same weight as an LPH heater, and it's a full size gun. And most guns are probably twice that weight. So the weight is is ridiculously good. Um, yeah, uh, speed wise, I, I I don't work in a bonus shop, so I'm not trying to knock out. 15 jobs in a day or anything silly like that. So uh, as far as speed for changing between colours and that sort of thing, it takes about, as I said, it takes about a minute to, to swap between different setups, but it's 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 more in your mind. So because you're not having to think, right, what spray gun I'm going to pick up next? What, you know, uh, what do I need to do? And uh, which gun I'm going to have to put in the gun wash next. It, it kind of clears the mind so you can just get your head down and work through the jobs. So that's a really good with, point, Sonny. Yeah. It, it doesn't help with, it doesn't help the speed of the actual job that much. Uh, uh, you know, you break it down, but uh, mentally it helps you to be productive. It helps to keep, keep your, your mind clear on what's going on so you're not having to think of other things. So they're, that, they're my pros. Uh, and the overspray as well. Is reduced consumption of paint is reduced as well, so it's a money save. So actually, going back to you know consumables, you know cost wise, the amount of clay you use will probably quite massively be out will outweigh 
the cost of rehab so that on what you would say from that that's true yeah 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 right yep i find um pretty much the same as you guys um I've definitely it came into its own yesterday i was painting a um a cleo in antique green and it was horrible and the color did not match and i was bouncing between solvent base coat and water base coat just to try and get a color that just matched it and i think at one point i used all of the heads <laughs> um because i just you know instead of having to clean it out and strip it down in between everything i literally just put a new head on each one and um wipe the, wipe the needle and check my color because i was in a rush to get it out and it just made it so much easier like before you know you had it like, i only have two base guns so yeah. um you know that's impossible <laughs> near enough you know so um i definitely thought it was so much easier that way and um it's a hell of a lot less cleaning um like i i would strip my my spray guns down every friday and like you know that that that's half an hour at least out of my day um and i i don't have to do that at all um i literally will just clean out the heads and then after after i finish lacquer and i'll just get like put um thinners on a rag and just wipe down the spray gun so that it's it doesn't get covered and that's it so yeah. definitely for for i'm not i'm not in a bonus driven workshop either but you know we do we do put out uh, a fair amount of jobs a day and um i've definitely found it a lot easier time saving as well it definitely definitely saves time yeah just so before we move on um, those of you who are tempted to leave please don't leave because we we're you know we're sort of on the final furlong here and you need to be watching us to the end if you want a chance to win one of these guns so don't i just seen someone drop off there it's unfortunate he's now out of the game, so it gives you guys who stayed an extra chance to <laughs> the odds are getting better. So yeah, so good. Um, right, so Sunny, I'm going to kick off with cons and improvements that I've I've kind of noticed. If that's okay. Yes. Uh, personally, I'm going blind in my old age. So where they've got these gauges here, so you can see where you're actually twisting that round and you've got it set. I would like to see a white bit of paint there or even better a luminous color <laughs> so fluorescent color so that i know where i've got it set and if i'm adjusting it because sometimes um I, I struggle to see that but that's you know that's just me these are just little bits that i've kind of that niggle me um uh, the pressure gauge i know you said it came with a nice pressure gauge i've struggled working this pressure gauge myself um and i'm going to say it but i've moved to my segola pressure gauge which i found to work a lot more better a lot better than this one so that's my own preference on that. Um, I would like to see a smaller cup size than this. I know we've discussed this. This is a 200 mil. I know they do a 100 mil. I would like to see that in the UK, especially for the smart repair industry, because 200 mil is just too big for a lot of the work that I do. It's fine for clear, but for my base colors, where I'm only mixing up probably 60 mil, 70 mil, and I can do two corners with that. Um, I, I actually found originally I was mixing up too much paint for because I, I felt like I had to fill the pot up. So that sort of defeated the purpose. Um, <clears throat> something else I would, my last one, sorry, is I would like to, so that locks, the cup locks it in place, the hard cup. I personally would like to get rid of this. It's fine for when you're measuring, etc. But I'd like to have a little collar, like you said, the North can do. It goes on here, so it holds on place. So you've got the soft cup here, which, oops, that didn't work. Hold on. <laughs> so when you've got it, um, it's just got a flexibility there and for me that would be better and the collar doesn't need to be it can be reusable so you again environmental uh, waste there's no reason why you can't take a collar off this and put it on the next one that you're going to mix up but all it does is just hold the cup to the actual filter so that's those are my points yeah uh, I remember actually just to reflect back to what you were saying about the the smaller parts um, 3M uh i've been brilliant haven't they? they've been listening to every single thing we said and uh we we have moments of them uh, about a few a couple of things and when you mention about the pots they're, 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 they are available in, in the usa aren't they in the usa but not in the uk so all your yeah. so uh, you know we put that forward to them and so let's hope hopefully for the smart repair guys um that they, they'll come through with that because 
just imagine, I can imagine, I started my business in, in the back of a van uh, doing smart mobile smart repairs. And instead of having a rack of guns, uh, this would have been brilliant for yeah, absolutely. Uh, for smart repairs. You just carry that one gun instead of having a rack of guns. Um, and also, the other thing was, you know, if you're an apprentice and you're starting off in, in the industry, yeah. instead of buying a primer gun, a clear coat gun, and a they were just gun. great when I was an apprentice. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and you're trying to find your way as well. So, um, so let's say you put a one free set up in and you think, I don't like that. I want a one two. I'm going to buy, spend maybe 100 quid on another set up. And instead, you just put a seven pound head on it and you, you've changed your set up and it's brilliant. But uh, as far as con about cons go, um, well, the first one is superficial. I, I I don't like the look of it. I think it's quite boring. Uh, I, I most of my guns are quite fancy, and um, so I, I feel that the gun looks a little bit uh, industrial. So it's very purposeful, actually, this gun, and and you can tell that you know it's, it's made to do what it needs to do uh, to spray. So for me, maybe a few sort of like nice design features would have been useful. Uh, the other thing that the gun comes with is a hook. Uh, so, so some some guys would like to, uh, so if you do spraying commercial vehicles, for example, and you're up and down ladders and you wanna hook your, your gun up. Oh, by the way, uh, you can get this with a pressure fed setup so you can basically set it up so the head faces down and then there's a tube that comes down here that picks up your your fluid um so yeah so you can have a pressure fed set up but uh yeah uh, so but back to the hook I, I i i didn't like it i really really didn't like the hook so apparently some gun no so apparently some guns are fine uh but my gun every time i, I used it the it was very very tiny tiny little bit of movement in the in the uh, hook um, but every time you, you you stop your pass, it kind of rattled, and it for me what, what, as I was painting, it felt like the um, the regulator was loose on the bottom of my gun. So literally after the first uh, boom session with it, I, I took the um, I took the hook off. I didn't like that hook at all. No, yeah, we're, we've all I, taken our hooks off. So I I didn't even try it with the hook on. I seen it. I went no. It's just not for me. <laughs> I didn't um, even try it. I just took it off. But yeah, that, that's the only thing I could. I don't. That's only negative that I can sort of like put towards it. Really, the, the two, you know, the look of it and the hook. Um, yeah. I've I've kind of grown used to the look of it. I don't I, I don't even see that anymore. Um, no, I, I don't. To be honest. Sorry. Yeah, I, I don't, to be honest. Uh, no. So it, at first, I looked. My first impression was it doesn't look, <laughs> doesn't look like much. Uh, yeah. So that was it. I was no. just like, eh, it looks alright. It just looks like a you know a stick with a a, hand, a handle on it, uh, a lever on it. Oh, the, the other thing. The other thing is, I. I I, I like handles with rounded profiles on them. So lots of guys love starters. Absolutely love starter guns. And I've got plenty of friends who love starters. I, I don't like starters because of the square handle. And this actually has a square handle on it. Um, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really feel bad to me at all because because uh, it's so lightweight, you don't really feel the weight of the handle and that pro that square profile on your fingers that much so um yeah so that's just a, a minor thing but it was well, it it should be an issue but it isn't an issue yeah i feel it whenever whenever i first left it i thought i i don't get on with saddles because i have really small hands and it's just yeah. they're too they're too big for my hand i just that's only really, like this the spray really nicely i just don't like the feel of them and whenever i first left it i thought oh no this this feels like a sada and I thought yeah. I was really gonna hate it, but it's actually I, I I don't notice it at all. And I've noticed like um, you know, I would do quite a lot of commercial work as in like vans and stuff, and you know, you're maybe painting the full side of a sprinter. And um normally I would use a um a 1.3 uh GTI Pro Light and I put the 1.6 on that and it's 
10 times easier. I, do, I, I find like, you know, you get halfway down the quarter panel and I'm like, oh, my rest. <laughs> You're going, I can't do this. And same, same as you, I'm, I'm about two foot three. So um, I, you know, I, I have to lift things above my head quite a lot. So um, it's definitely, I definitely don't feel as sore in my hands and wrists anymore. Yeah. So um, definitely, definitely a positive that way. Yeah, we're all we're all quite small people, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you have any um, negatives you make about the gun? No, just the same as you. I just thought it's it's very um, it's very industrial looking, and I'm a prima donna. I I like pretty things, and I, I, I think a lot of spray painters are. Let's let's be honest about it. I'm I'm still convinced that I'm a better painter with that fancy a water, even though it's exactly the same as my standard one. So. Um, I don't know, I think it's just a head thing. Um, I didn't like the hook either. And actually the same as Wayne, I find the um, the gauge a wee bit too, where, where you're using it, because you're using 1.4 or 1.6, um, I think it's a wee bit too close together, like measurements. And I find it quite yeah. difficult to get, you know, the, um, the, right, the right one. So um, I, I went back to my, um, my water, my water one on that one, but um, that was the only reason. Like, I, I like the the um, the gauge. Just I couldn't see it, but I'm blind. Yeah. So. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I'm um, sorry. sorry just, uh, can I yeah, can sorry. I just quickly answer a question? Um, someone yeah. said uh, PPS <laughs> too long left. Um, so yeah, so the gun uh, only use can, is only compatible with PPS pl uh, PPS plus. They call it, don't they? Um, parts. Uh, so some people are going to see that as an, a disadvantage and yeah maybe it is maybe it's a disadvantage if you wanted if you wanted to try a different cup system or put a hark up on there because uh, it, it's not an option but the reality of it is it all feels like it works together properly so mm. um so if you if you're cynical about it you, could, you, you would say that um 3m put the pps uh, plus adapts on there for so that could sell extra parts. But um, if you want to see us, <laughs> I, I would. If you it know, was my business, you know, if I, I would, there I would, are yes. Yeah, yeah. If I if it was my business uh, and I had my own parts, yeah. uh, I would I would want people to use my parts. So you know, on a, on a business perspective, you know, it it was a clever. Uh, decision on their behalf. But the same, it, it's it's designed to be used with PPS too. You know, yeah. they, they've they've it they designed it with PPS too in mind. So you know, you're getting the proper, you know, everything. There, it's it's yeah. it's kind of the way it's designed to do. So it, yeah. it's going to work a lot better. So when when you're swapping between colours and putting like uh, your 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 pots on the guns. It just works, doesn't it? It it, it feels right. Everything feels yeah. right. Yeah. So you can, tell, you, tell, you can tell. Yeah. You can tell a lot of thought has gone into everything. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So um, we will just quickly uh, say, if you want the whole kit that you've seen Rage Sunny and I use, which comes with three sets of um, nozzles, five bag, a uh, five in each bag, <coughs> and it comes with some cups, a uh, couple of other things from the gun and the regulator. Uh, that is uh, retailing at 362 plus the VAT, so it's, it's 93 pence, so let's say 363. The gun and just the regulator, you can buy just that if you've already got the PPS cubs, is at 283. So, I mean, the whole kit really at under sort of 370 quid, I, you know, that's where are you going to go and sort of get something like that? Yeah. Uh, especially if you're, if you're, like we said earlier, starting out. Um, right. Sonny, I don't know if we should, if anybody's got anything else or we should. Um, yeah, I, I think we should uh, open it up for um, questions, uh, yeah. anything that we haven't answered, and then shall we just go straight to the competition? So I know yeah. we're overrunning, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. We talk too much, that's the problem. That is the problem. <laughs> right, so if you've got any questions, B, do you want to hop in and sort of, if there's any questions, just uh, whiz those over to us? Yeah, sure. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> uh, so yeah we've got you've, you've answered most of them I have to be honest but we've got a couple here so um, one from Alex said can you attach a reusable cup to it 
Well, I mean, I think if you can be bothered to clean these cups out, there's no reason why you couldn't reuse them. But for the sake of 83 pence, it's going to take you longer to clean that cup than to put a new one on. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think you can uh, because it's the DAPS is for, for this disposable cup and I don't I can't see why 3M would want to put, put, make a, a PPS adapted hard cup on it so I, I, my presumption is the answer is probably no. Yeah and then another question from Lee saying how do you know a head is used up? The fan pattern degrades so like you know yourself whenever you get something stuck in the fluid tip or the um the air cap and it either starts splattering or it, the, the pattern maybe splits or goes bottom heavy or top heavy you know that's that that's it i mean i haven't i haven't had a, an issue at all um, I've, I've had one problem can i can i share my problem uh yeah it was my it was my fault so i i, I had a one point, I, I had a i had a one four uh fluid tip with wet and wet primer in there and our wet and wet primer goes off in 20 minutes so if, if your gun's not cleaned out in 20 minutes then you, you've got this scrubbing brushes out and try to pull jelly and chunks out of your spray gun so i just missed the window to, uh, to clean out my gun thoroughly uh and i would have been done i would have been devastated if, if it was one of my other guns but i just thought seven quid isn't it so i just bend it and then clean the fluid needle and it, it, everything's back to normal and then i think the final question that hasn't been answered yet there's a lot of people wanting to know uh from each of you your honest answer will you use this gun over your other guns now all uh, right um i think for base coat on wet and wet yeah um personally i still love my eye waters for clear coat but um, I think for base coat and for wet and wet and in general things, especially whenever you're doing small things, I can't see myself going back to anything else just for sake of ease. It just makes life easier. That's what I think anyway. Yeah. Wayne? Yeah. I think for me, um, as, a, as a smart repairer, uh, and, and it absolutely galls me to say this, but I can't see any reason to not just have this one gun on the rack. Um, and I, I really, really love my other guns. They've performed so well. Uh, but it's like Rach says, it's the ease. And I just, I just like the fact that I can just take one gun into the booth and that just does it all. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's really galling to say that because I, my other guns are beautiful as well. But that's, that's the reality of it. So yes, I, I would probably just stick with this gun, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for me, uh, I'm a gun, gun hoarder. So I've got uh, a rack of 12 guns uh, in the spray booth. So would it replace my spray guns, uh, the other collection? I said to Wayne uh, on the conversation, we were on a phone call, and Wayne asked me how I felt about the spray gun. So it was earlier on in the conversation, and, and I told this. This is the honest truth. I, I told him I don't want to like it, but <laughs> I do. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't remember if you remember me saying it. I said so. I said yeah, I yeah that's the honest truth. I do. I, I don't. I don't want to like it because uh, I like the other spray gun so much. But, but it's good. It's a really, really good spray gun. So will it replace all my other spray guns? Uh, I don't think so. So sometimes I like to load colours up in different guns uh, and then clean up after and, and clean up later. Uh, but I can see myself get really get, get into light this gun. That's the issue. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you're so fighting your these, demons there. Yeah, so I've got all these shiny guns that I love, uh, but it's such a good gun. and it. it my, my heart says no don't replace the other guns and my head says it's a great gun so you know why would you need any other gun so i, I am torn yeah I think, can i can yeah, i answer I, a question i just seen there yeah um craig asked about wet flake i've sprayed wet flake with it a couple of times now and it's bang on um so i'm spraying um 0.08 uh metal flake 
and a 1.6 and it's bang on. Wow. Is that um, through, uh, is that using clear binder? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I was doing, <clears throat> I was doing some uh, barber's clippers again and it's bang on. Oh, right. Yeah. It, it, it sets out really nicely. I definitely would recommend it. <laughs> Just push off. Just remember to push off the the filter on the um, PPS cup because I definitely forgot to. And then was going, why is this not spraying flake? And then went, all right, no, don't be stupid. Yeah. So, so that they're the answers. So, um, so yes or no, Rachel? Um, as far as yeah. replacing them with spray guns. Some of them, yeah. Just not, just not my lacquer gun. That's all. Yeah, I, 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 I could see myself getting rid of my DV1. I'm a... I would. Sorry, Rach. Go ahead. I'm done. No, I, I'd say, yeah, I'd say yes. Um, it's nothing against the other guns. It's just, and you know, maybe once in a while I'll pull them out just to remind me how beautiful the other guns are. But, but for my smart repairs, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm torn. Uh, I think, I think it's a no. So I think I'll probably keep, keep using the other spray guns, but uh, logic tells me as far as clean up and things go, you know, this, this is the one to use. So I think it's a no, maybe. Don't know. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do this giveaway then. Yeah, let's do it. So, B, do you want to pop on? Yeah, I've just got one more question that's just come through from Paint by Tony. Um, will there be a smaller version of this gun also? That, that was a question that you asked Wayne, wasn't it, about the fluid tip sizes? So it went down to a 1.2, uh, and yeah. he was asking whether a 1 mil was available. Was, was it 1 mil that he was asking about? They do do a 1 mil, but it's in the pressurized version. So it's yeah. not in, the, in this nozzle. So, you know, maybe if there's enough demand. But I can't say that I've missed having a, a 1 mil uh, in, in all the different jobs, you know, like those bike parts, because you can just wind it in. It's not something I've, I've I've missed. No, it's a very controlled gun, so you can you can you can wind it right down. I don't think it's as ref, it, it, at, at the bottom end. It, it, I don't think it'll be as refined as an LP eight eight two, maybe possibly. No, because that's that's designed to have a small fan. So, um, but the answer is that we don't know, do we? <laughs> whether no. they're going to be a small version, but uh, yeah, we, we, it goes down to one two. The one two still has quite a decent fan on it uh it's it's it's, it's about that big is the fan and the one two but you can you can wind it down and because it atomizes so well uh yeah. you know you can you can you can spot blend on it yeah yeah so what we've done now is b has kindly and just for those of you who don't know who b is b is actually my daughter who's up in london and she's offered to help us out here so b has kindly put everyone's name that enter tonight into a what have you put in b well i did have a pot and then i realized you requested a hat so i've got my patriots hat so anyone that's okay. great and that offends i'm sorry <laughs> but they're now going into a hat <laughs> so, so are we ready to do that guys yeah okay right so, good luck everyone good luck. good luck thank you for watching yeah Okay. This is the better to get for. <laughs> the name I picked out, I need to do a quick check that this person is still on here, as that was the rule. Yes, they are. Okay. The winner of the gun is, drum roll, <laughs> Miles. So Miles, Miles is still on uh, here. You were just named Miles. You had no surname on there. So you are the winner. Congratulations. I'm going to send you a message now. Well done, yeah, Miles. Well done. Congratulations. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you to 3M. Thank you, Sunny, for hosting this and doing such a great job. Thank you. Oh, Miles has just you. got it. There you go, Miles. Um, oh, actually, Miles, what you need to do is if you, uh, I don't know which one of us you follow, but if you can get contact, yeah, there you go, Miles, if you can contact um, myself or Rach or Sunny on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn with your address. Um, we can we can get that sorted for you. Yeah. So thank you so much, B, very much for helping out tonight.
Yeah, thanks, Bay. Thank you. No worries. Uh, and this will all be recorded. This will all be recorded. It has been. We're going to put it on YouTube for anyone who hasn't seen it. So that'll be done over the weekend. Perfect. Okay, perfect.